Hello, my gorgeous spiky star rumptious delicious Taurus. Welcome to your love tarot reading. Today we are doing your general energy vibe check and love. We're going to see what new fishies are swimming at you in the sea of love. Who's out, who's in, and who's getting deleted from the database, baby. Let's see who's been naughty and who's been nice. Uh, this is your, your June 2023 energy, baby. <clears throat> and also stick around till the end of the reading. We will be doing a yes or no question just for you, my baby. Let's see, please show me angels of love. What is coming through for Taurus, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Oh, baby. You're making a clean break of something here. Good. You had to turn your back on a situation in your recent past that was no longer serving you and you did the right thing. Uh, quite possibly you turn your back on somebody because they turn their back to you. Somebody wasn't contributing. They weren't giving you what you deserve, uh, what you require, baby. It was not the crop of uh, the cream of the crop, you know, the diamonds and pearls, uh, none of that. You know, that person was not, they just were not performing, okay? The three of wands. <sighs> It just wasn't, that person just went, wasn't in it to win it. Um, you feel, you felt for a while maybe, Taurus, that the person you were dealing with wasn't putting in the effort, they weren't doing the right thing because it was because of you, like they weren't doing the right thing because of you for you. But that's not the case. This person is just not in it to win it, period. Let's see why. Uh, you're having a clean break. This is like post, you know, post separation, post breakup energy right now for you because you got that uh, ten of swords crossed new. So you're going through something. You're going through an ending, baby, and it's the right thing. Uh, for some of you, it might be energy still reverberating. So energies they're still affecting your love life because of a past breakup. Uh, the ace of swords here for you right now, baby. My baby, you're having a new beginning, and I think you're having some kind of a revelation. I think your mind is having some kind of a revelation about what your heart truly wants. Uh, this is a time to really articulate what it is that you want from love and to manifest love at a higher level. And you're doing that, baby. This is about making a clean break from the past. Past patterns, past people who are not serving you, douche flutes, peasants who aren't performing. Um, this was someone who was, you know, that person from your past that you're making a clean break from or the energy of, a, you know, a memory that's so with you it's somebody who is very focused on their ambitions uh their work their career they were, it's someone very ambitious very like into themselves seeking fame fortune riches um it could have been someone who travels a lot you got the ace uh, of wands here clarifying the three of wands could have been someone who travels a lot for work or it's just always seeking, seeking the next thing, the next best thing, seeking the next um, excitement too. You know, for some, it could have been someone who's seeking excitement outside of the relationship. Um, but I think all, whatever they were doing, it was because of their ego and their ambition, someone extremely ambitious and someone who thinks they can get away with anything that they want to get away with kind of thing. You know, a bit of a trickster energy. There's a little bit of the magician to that too, the dark side of the magician. Also, Taurus, before we continue, let me just say welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. If you're new and if you are a returning Blue Angel, thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. And I see you, baby. Give mommy a kiss. Mm -hmm. Give me one more. Taurus, as some of you know, I've been quite ill this past week. I went AWOL uh, again. I did have a bit of a kidney issue. I know it's TMI, but this channel is super real. I do, I do have some health problems in general, but I had, uh, I, I'm still at home, <laughs> home. Um, I'm on home rest at the moment, so mm, uh, I'm having a little kidney situation. Uh, I'm not neglecting my babies, but mommy got really sick. Uh, so let's, uh, fingers crossed, we're back with the videos. Uh, just a heads up as well on the readings. Uh, for your tarot readings, I will be raising prices uh, this month. I was going to raise the prices mid-month, but I got sick, so uh, there's still a grace period. You still have at least a week to get your reading with me based on the old pricing. The old pricing is uh, um, in the description box below, baby. Um, so get your if you want to get a reading, now is a great time to get your reading with the old prices. It's the same prices I've had for two years since I started the channel, baby. Mm, all right, my bit bill. So let's get back to your douche flute. It's a good thing that you turn your back on this person energetically. It may feel like, you know, some of it might feel cutting, like you're in a cutting energy, like freeing yourself of the, this past. Um, even this person might represent a pattern, you know, of like, mm, 
what it is, uh, what is it that you accept in your life, Tourist might be there. What is it, what kind of douche flutes uh, are allowed in, you know? Uh, you got the pearls, are you letting in the swine? You know, they don't appreciate, they're just gonna eat the pearls, you know, like they don't appreciate what it is. Don't let the swine in, all right? So I think whatever pain you're feeling now, just know that it's part of the transformation, it's transformative pain, it's healing pain. It's allowing you to see very clearly what it is that just does not serve you and is hurtful to you, but Bill. You have a new love coming in the page of wands. I didn't know it could be a rebound, baby, all right? You got a rebound coming your way. This is your June energy. I think you still got two weeks of June. Um, could be within the next month. Give it another month, you know, two weeks, uh, a month, any day now. Uh, if you're open to it, there's somebody coming into your life. Look at this big wand, baby. I don't know what you're working with, wands, you know, something else, you know, whatever you got going on there, like, you know, little, um, Okay, I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna say. You know what I'm saying, like, you know. Mm, whatever you're working with, somebody's gonna have like something really big and scrumptious and juicy. It's gonna be juicy. It could be a rebound and it's good for you, so don't fight it. Just saying, don't fight it. June is your time for pleasure, to have fun, which you're not expecting. You're, you're going to be having a lot of fun. And even like, I'd say, like, I don't know what you, you know, what, what you're looking for. You don't need to be finding your biggest, you know, high order soulmate today. You could just have a little bit of fun. You got the devil here and the three of cups as your crowning energy in June, baby, uh, in this daily reading for you. So this is, I mean, you know, this is just going out and having fun, Bippo. It's it's about, you know, sexy adventures and stuff like that. You know, meet that sexy nurse. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Go in, the, in that yard, see if there's any milkshakes there. You know, what kind of milkshakes do you like? I... I'm a vanilla girl, actually. People would n not guess that, but I love my vanilla milkshake. So, you know, depending on what flavors you're into, like get that drink, slurp it up, you know, suckle on that <clears throat> milkshake. Um, have fun, Bippo. Allow yourself to have fun. Explore yourself. Explore what it is that you want out of life. Somebody com could be coming in, it's like a passionate lover, a passionate affair. Could be even something that grows into something more serious. We'll take a look in a second. You've got the Three of Cups here. Just have fun. Your friends are inviting you to go out. Go out, Taurus, okay? Don't stay at home and don't cry over this douche flute because this person was inadequate emotionally regardless. This person would never be ready. They would never be ready. Actually, now that I think about it with that Three uh, of Cups crowning energy, for some of you, somebody like kept stalling you because... Um, Maybe they even gave you a ring and then would not like put a date on it kind of thing. You know, it's like somebody was stalling a, an engagement or a wedding even. But I mean, good riddance, but Bill, this person's, this person's got their own issues, baby. And what you're not expecting is that you're going to have a lot more fun without this person. This entire part of the year, actually, not just the summer, not just June, but until Capricorn season, um, you're going to be having a lot of fun. Uh, let's see where this little bit will go. So put yourself out there, baby. This person's gonna make you laugh, you know? It's like you're gonna be dancing, you're gonna be laughing, and just as I thought, I just had this intuition, you know? Uh, the lovers, this could turn into something more serious, Taurus. A rebound, you may not even pay attention to this person, maybe someone who's not typically your type, or someone that you think is like, I don't know, doesn't have enough money, or is like, I don't know, doesn't have, doesn't have enough clout, or doesn't, I don't know, like, isn't ripped and cut enough. There's something about this person. You're going to be like, well, that's not, you know, whatever. You're kind of insignificant. But actually, that person over time will show you they're really into you. So the rebound might turn into a, a beautiful love connection with the lovers. The lovers might be a little tumultuous, might be a little crazy, might be a little sexy. I love this Taurus. Look, I'm Scorpio. Sun and rising. The reason why I love you, Taurus, is because you're my opposite sign and we understand each other. We're like two sides of the same love coin. We love the food. We love the sexy town. You know what I mean? Like we go in deep. We love that passion. And that devil is, you know, we're in this card too. We're in that energy of holding. Taurus holds things. Someone's going to hold you tight just like you like it, baby. All right, so that's what I have for you. This is looking very exciting. Let me know how it goes, baby Taurus. Also, let me know in the comments below if this is your story. I'm always curious to hear your stories, baby. Ah, but the mommy has so little energy, but today things are coming back. So we're going to do your yes or no question. We got the pendulum out. The pendulum I got in Gibraltar from the witch who lives by the castle, no jokes. Um, I love my little travels around the world. 
So um, let's see. Let's do a yes or no question. Think of your question, baby. And mommy's going to ask the angels of love what the answer is. Please show me angels of love for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Is this a yes or a no? Oh, Taurus, it's a big power struggle for you. Ooh, Taurus, be careful what you wish for. Okay, the answer is, how much do you want it? Um, is it easier, is it better, not easier, is it better for you to just walk away from it? It's almost saying, be careful what you wish for, you might get it, but it's gonna take a lot of hard work, whatever it is that you want, whatever the question was. Um, if it's a yes, it's going to take a lot of power struggle, a lot of energy, and you may end up, when you get the thing that you want, you may end up running away from it, not walking away from it, running, you're gonna end up running. Is it easier to just start running now? That's the answer for you, my baby. All right, this is what I have for you today, baby. Uh, let me know also in the comments what your question was, yes or no questions. I'm curious, and do you like the yes or no questions? I'm always curious about that because we're gonna do more of them. Um, baby, uh, also, uh, yeah, uh, again, for readings, all the information is in the description box below. It's the old pricing, so get it now. We've got about a week left to get a reading. Um, what else can I tell you? Don't forget to like and subscribe, Taurus, okay? Or else, because I'll be watching you with my third eye. Um, no, no, I mean, I am also, but with love. With love and light. You don't have to, but it really helps your mommy out, baby. When you comment, when you like my video, it really, really helps, you, it helps me out when you subscribe as well. I'll see you next time, my baby. Stay your gorgeousness, sparkly, juicy self. Uh, take care of yourself, stay moisturized, and maybe angels protect you. And now we gotta get so uncomfortably close to the camera because the setup is new. Abracadabra, baby.